Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about lecture series number two of the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. We're going to be focusing on three main points, the early lawyers, courts, and justices. Now let's first focus on the early lawyers. In the 17th century, England and America had no law schools. Most colonial attorneys in America had no legal training like Benjamin Franklin. It was on the job training. At the end of the century, you could get legal training if you had, could afford it. It was at the end of court in England. Part of the training was attending trials and taking copious notes. Let us now focus on practices in colonial courts. In counties outside of the province, they seem to be primitive. For example, in a law courthouse in western Pennsylvania, a judge ordered all the local inhabitants out of the courtroom. One large man refused. The judge ordered him into contempt. Then he was sentenced to one hour in jail. But then the justice realized there was no jail in the area. So then he ordered him for a pig pen to be cleaned out. By the time they had the pig pen cleaned out, the prisoner had already escaped. Finally, let us examine the history of the early justices. Although the U.S. Supreme Court has only 17 chief justices since 1789, with Justice John Jay being the first and our current U.S. Supreme Court Justice being John Roberts. PA is different though. PA has had 58 Chief Justices since 1618, with the first being Captain William Crispin, who was appointed. Our current elected Pennsylvania Chief Justice is Ronald Castile. Thomas McCain was the first Chief Justice after we won the war for independence in 1791. He was friends with Thomas Jefferson and also had signed the Declaration of Independence. At first, the Supreme Court received statutory fees based on the cases the justices had decided. It was not until 1772 that they had received salaries, and only then it was 200 pounds. In 1837, Pennsylvania Con Constitution Convention abolished life terms of the Supreme Court justices. Now we elect justices for 10 year terms. Thank you for listening to this lecture series. I hope you would enjoy the rest of the mini lecture series. Thank you.